Editing a home movie with VideoWave. With Roxio VideoWave, even beginners can quickly produce entertaining videos from their home movies, yet experienced users can enjoy complete creative control. In this tutorial, I'll show you just how easy it is to edit a movie with titles, transitions, and background audio. I'm going to assume you already have your video files on your computer. If not, check out our separate tutorial on importing video from your camcorder. Let's get started. First, open Roxio Creator. Now, click on the Video Movies tab and then choose Edit Video Advanced. This will open VideoWave. When you start a new production, VideoWave asks you what format you want to use. I'm going to use the widescreen 16x9 setting for this project. Now I'm ready to begin editing. The Video Wave window is divided into three panes. The Task pane, where I can choose items to add to my video like text and transitions. The Preview pane, where I can see what my edits will look like in the finished video. And the Storyline or Timeline pane at the bottom, where I can see the various components of my video in the order they will appear. First, let's add some clips to the project by clicking the Add Photo Video button. I can choose any videos on my PC. Note that I can preview clips in the browser to check what's in them by clicking the play button beneath the clip. I can also select more than one video at a time. These are the two clips I need, so I'll hold down the shift key to select the second file and then click open. OK, now I have my clips ready to edit. If they are not in the right order on the storyline, you can drag them around as needed. Here I click the first clip and drag it after the second one. Now I want to trim off part of the first clip to get rid of some bad footage. Double-clicking it opens the video trimmer. Trimming is easy. All I have to do is move the little triangles at the beginning and end of the clips to slice off the unwanted parts. When I'm done, click the OK button to make the change. Next, let's add a title to the beginning of the video by selecting the first clip, then clicking the Add Text Effect button. There are tons of cool text styles here. I want a casual theme, so I'll choose Casual to view all the similar text styles, and then choose Kids Next Door by clicking to select it. Select the text by clicking the field. After I type my title in the box, I can change the font size and other characteristics using the menus at the top, and move it around to position it exactly where I want it by clicking and dragging the edge of the text box. Now I want to add a transition between the two clips. Transitions can be placed individually between two clips, or you can choose a theme for all the transitions in a video. Even though we only have two clips, let's try a theme so you can see how it works. Wipes and dissolves are the most common types of transition, but for this video I'll choose the page turn theme, which gives the effect of an animated photo album. Because I've chosen a theme, VideoWave warns that this choice will replace all existing transitions with the new one. Click Yes to continue. Transitions are indicated in the storyline by the little boxes between clips. Let's see what ours looks like in the preview panel. You can jump about in the production simply by clicking on the bar, then click the play button to see the movie. OK, this looks OK, so now we're going to add some audio to liven it up, since there's not much dialogue. Click the Add Background Audio button, then choose Media Selector to browse for songs on your hard drive. I select a song from my music library and add it to this video. Note that you can preview the sound files the same way you preview video by clicking the play button underneath the sound file icon. Since I want the song to play for the entire video rather than just one clip, I'll choose Add on Music Track here. I could also add music to each clip. I'll play back the video to make sure it's the way I want it. When saving the production, note that since VideoWave is a non-destructive editor, it's not actually changing anything in my original video files. Now that we've finished editing, we can share the movie in several ways using the output menu. You can export to YouTube, email, DVD or portable player. To learn more about these options, see our tutorial on sharing your video wave movies.